So I was reading in the scriptures in 2 Timothy chapter 3 about people that have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. Ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of truth from such turn away. I'm going to tell you something. The other morning I was sitting in the coffee shop in my little town and some men were talking about the Great Plains being underwater at one time. And I said to a man who I know to be a good believer, a good man, a Christian man, a man who is very kind and uh, uh, a solid Christian man. And I said, yeah, the whole world was underwater 6,000 years ago. And he said, yeah, but there's no evidence for that. There is for this. 75 million years ago, the, whole, the Great Plains were under water. And I went quiet. And it kind of broke my heart, if I could be honest with you. Because I thought, my God, here is a man who's been in the house of God his whole life. He has been in church since a boy. Has a fine education. Is a good salt of the earth man. And he's never come to the knowledge of the truth. He will believe speculation about something that happened 75 million years ago. But he does not believe the God of the Holy Bible because everybody wants to dismiss the rainbow story as what it was the extinction of the first earth people lived be a thousand years there was a whole nother world here before the flood but I want to tell you there's evidence everywhere he has been ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. And I would say the preachers he sat under never did either. They had a form of godliness, but denied the power of God. They had a form of truth, but they never received the truth. And the world is full of believers who believe in Jesus. But he's not their king and he's not their lord and they don't think he's sovereign and they think he may have existed as historical Jesus but I'm telling you right now you better come to grips with it you better come to grips with the supernatural creator with the holy one who's outside of his creation and the one who flooded the world once and will devour it with fire the second time and if you're going to have a form of godliness, I pray to God you'd have the power of God with you. If you pray and you find no answer, it's because you have no faith. You haven't come to it. You haven't settled upon it. You haven't believed it. You haven't received it. You haven't stood on it. You won't die for it, much less live for it. I want to get fired up about it. You wonder why the world's in the shape it's in? Because the church is in the shape it's in. The last day's church and the last day's perilous times will come. Men will have a form of godliness and deny the power thereof. They don't believe God has power. They don't give God power, nor do they get God's power because they have little faith. They've never come to the knowledge of truth. What is the truth, preacher? Jesus said, I am the way the the truth and the life and no man come to the Father but by me. Pontius Pilate asked what truth is. Jesus is the truth. If his kingdom were of this world, his followers would have fought for him. But his kingdom is to come. Are you going to be a part of that? The second death in the lake of fire. You better come to the knowledge of truth. Stop believing the world and believing the lie. And get in the word and believe God.